Let's briefly review the programming process we've been going through. First, we write a program on our computer. Then, we transfer the program to the NXT. And finally, we run the program on the NXT. So, right now, your program's really in two places. It's on your computer, where you wrote it originally, and it's also on your NXT. While this program only took us a few minutes to write, many of the others that you'll eventually be writing will take a lot more of your time, and you certainly will want to make sure that you save a copy. As soon as you download a program to your NXT, it's saved there automatically. It won't go away unless you tell the NXT to delete the program, or you download a new version of the program, or you update the NXT firmware. And, of course, as long as you have it saved on your computer, you can always download it again. Unfortunately, on the computer side, you always need to tell the software to save your program. We discussed how to do that in a previous lesson. Just like any other software, the NXT programming software does occasionally freeze up or crash. So if you're working on a program for a while, you should make sure you save periodically. It is important to note that there's no way to transfer a program back from the NXT to the computer. That's because when you press the download button, two things actually happen, one right after the other. If you watch your display when you hit the download button, you'll see that the software says that it first compiles your program and then downloads your program. Compiling a program on your computer means translating that program from the language that you wrote it in, that is, sound blocks, display blocks, and so on, into a language that the NXT will be able to understand, which you can think of as just a mishmash of ones and zeros. That translation step happens entirely on your computer. Once your computer's done the translation, that translated version of your program is downloaded, that is, transferred from your computer to the NXT. This means that the version of your program that's on the NXT looks very different from the version that you originally wrote. And unfortunately, LEGO doesn't provide a way to translate it back. The most important thing I want you to take away from this lesson is that you absolutely must remember to save your programs on your computer before you quit from the software. Because while you can always transfer your programs from your computer to your NXT, you can never transfer them back again from your NXT to your computer.